hey guys what's up so i just want to share this word with you guys so the other day i was here um on the roof and i was looking over a huge land over there and i could see some goats herd of goats um just grazing eating grass and everything and all of a sudden i saw all of the goats went up a hill you know i couldn't see them anymore because the trees you know must have hit them and everything then all of a sudden i heard this one goat this one goat came out from another side um let's say the goats were on the east this goat came out from the west and it's like this goat was crying like crying like where are you guys it's like she or he was lost from the fold so she was up and she was down and she was like making a distress call for the other ships to give back that same call that saying that we're over here we're over here and all of a sudden for a moment of up and down the ship went up the same hill i saw the other direction of goats went and i never heard that call again what is Jesus saying to us right now? What is Jesus saying to you right now? What is he saying? That he will leave the 99 just to find that one sheep that's lost. He will leave the 99 just to find that one sheep that is lost. And Jesus is saying that that sheep can be you. That sheep might be your family member. That sheep might be a, a spouse. That sheep might be a friend. That Jesus is saying, come come they might be crying where are you guys they might be crying i need to get back home they might be crying i want to get back right with god but they just can't find the fold they can't find the right people to guide them they can't find the right people to direct them they can't find the right people to 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 to, to nurture them because they, this god was up and down looking for his siblings or hers or whatever this goat was up and on searching and that is what so many people here they are searching they are searching they are searching but they somehow still can't find what they're looking for but if you call on the name of jesus no matter where you are no matter if you're at work you're at school you're on a, you're in the job it doesn't matter where you are if you call on the name of jesus christ you shall be saved it doesn't matter where you are give god a distress card marco robo Sata, Glebe Soto, may heaven hear that you're making a distress call. You're crying out, Lord, save me. Lord, have mercy on me. Like Bartimaeus, Lord Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible said that Jesus stopped. Go and call him. That is the response God is going to give to you. If you call on the name of the Lord, he will answer you and show you greater than what you do. Amen, somebody. Call upon the name of God and you will be saved. Call on Jesus, you will be renewed. Call on Jesus, you will be redeemed. And let me just simply give um give you this. You can still be in the house of God and still be a lost sheep. God said, go ahead. God said to Adam, Where are you? Adam was still in the garden. Eden means the presence of God. Adam was still in the presence of God. Adam was in church. Adam was still in the building. But God was saying, where are you? Where are you, Adam? Where are you, Adam? God is saying, where are you, my bride? You're in the house, but where are you in your spirit? Where are you in your thoughts? Where have you put me? God is saying to us as the church of Jesus Christ, for those who have rebelled and be secret backsliders god is saying where are you i don't know who you are but god is saying come he's waiting i just need to just quickly make this video it's early but i just got to make this video and just do what god says come he's waiting for you if you're not saved repent give your life to jesus christ if you call on him repent of your sins you shall be saved and this goes for those who are secret backsliders and open backsliders and those who are sinners jesus is calling and it's for those who are saved to help those who are lost because the bible says in james chapter 5 i believe if anyone you save from falling into sin you save that soul from hell and i believe that is in jude as well so evangelists brothers and sisters Let's go and save the loss in Jesus' name, by His power and by His Spirit. Amen. Amen.